Hello all, this is Catherine speaking. That was really artificial and sounded weird. I'm sorry, I apologize for that opening. This video, the title is going to be the best new movies to watch on Netflix in July. And it's already like halfway through July right now, so I kind of <laughs> missed the ball. Unless you are an optimist and you think July is not halfway done, it's halfway still a month. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. Okay, so the first one is 12 Angry Men. If you're like a, um, a law buff or you really enjoy legal things, then you're obviously gonna like this. And you probably have already seen it if you if you like that kind of stuff. But for other people, I think that this movie is really good because it kind of talks about how uh, this like group think and how um, people often express opinions that are similar to everyone else's and they're afraid to say things, an uh, opinion that's unpopular. So you see this in <laughs> all over the place, really. And so this movie kind of shows how the dangers of doing that. I don't know if you see this movement in the back, but it's my dog right here. What are you doing? The second movie is Can't Buy Me Love. What makes this movie different than a lot of these other 80s, 90s movies is its lead character. It's lead male character who is played by Patrick Dempsey. And if you know him at all, if you know that name at all, you'll probably know him from Grey's Anatomy. He plays McDreamy. I can tell you that McDreamy is, is the exact opposite of this character that he plays in Can't Buy Me Love. Uh, but nevertheless, it, he's still completely lovable, super cute, very funny, and just kind of the guy that you want to root for. A little different than a lot of these other 80s movies. And the end scene is pretty cute. It involves riding off in, into the sunset with a lawnmower, on a lawnmower. So it's, it's pretty great. So the final movie is City of God. So what this movie is about is it's two competing drug groups in this suburb-ish area of uh, Rio de Janeiro. It's a movie that will really kick ya in the feels and it will leave you thinking about things for a while. It's very violent and it has a, a lot of, of, of drug usage. I don't think there's a lot of sex scenes or anything like that because people are too busy shooting guns and heroin. Wow, this is, that should be the tagline for this because that's really actually, it's not heroin, it's crack, but um, yeah, never mind. <laughs> it's a really thought-provoking piece. It has the, the setting is really, really cool. Uh, again, probably more so just because I have, I've never been in that area, and so just kind of to see the the way people live is, is kind of cool, uh, interesting for me. So it has a really, it's also very, very entertaining. So not only is it thought provoking, it's also super entertaining. So again, it's, it's probably one of the best movies I've seen this year. Not that I haven't, well, I have seen a lot of movies this year. <laughs> it's one of the best, so that's actually saying something.